Hi, Dester from Online Media Works. It's day nine of our LinkedIn 101 and offering you hints and tips on how to upgrade, enhance your LinkedIn profile. So today we're going to be talking about the difference between connecting and following on LinkedIn, which is one of the questions that I get asked quite a lot. So when you connect with somebody on LinkedIn, you get access to each other's networks. So you can directly message each other, you can see each other's content, and you can, um, it's almost like you're opening up your address book to that person. They can see all the people that you are connected with. So you would only really connect with somebody um, that you know, like, and trust. And you would only really connect with somebody that fits with your LinkedIn strategy. So can you help them? Can they help you? You've got a fundamental reason for wanting that connection on LinkedIn. So you don't have to connect with everybody who requests your LinkedIn connection. So um, if you follow somebody, that means that you can see another LinkedIn member's posts and articles that they share, but you're not connected with them. So the sharing is only moving in one direction. You're following them. They're not necessarily following you back. So um, someone can maybe view your page, follow your page, but they won't necessarily get any kind of alerts that are set up um, for um, new posts that, 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 that you're um creating so there's no specific reason to follow somebody when you could connect with them but do think about that um strategic um point that i made um just now um and if you may find on linkedin that somebody has got a lot of connections or they're a public figure then the only option available to you is follow rather than connect i hope that helps and i will see you tomorrow for another tip bye for now Thank <laughs> you.